So after a long night, well, we got to bed late because the game went on, I made videos and so on. But I ran the numbers. Um, so after a long night, I finally get to make this video. I already updated everything on the blog and now it's time to let you guys know what I think about all that. Uh, of course, it is not too surprising we have the fourth, uh, as I said yesterday, we had favorite wins yesterday. So um, the impact is minimal, but let's still have a look. And also we have all but four performance indices are done and that will also be interesting to see who, uh, if anyone rose or fell based on exiting yesterday. Let's yeah. go straight to it. And since a few rating changes, Belgium is now sl even a bit clearer ahead of France, but they are the top favorite according to my rating. 31.38% um, to 31%. It is very, very close. Uh, and it very much looks like that the winner of this matchup is then uh, the likely World Cup winner. However, never underestimate the other two. The second semi-finalists -final are England, 22.5% chance, and then Croatia with 15.13%. Um, just the order did not change. However, since the two favorites won, the probabilities of those two winning uh, slightly decreased from yesterday, uh, just to have that in mind. And also, uh, we have Uruguay and Brazil move up a little bit uh, since uh, Sweden and Russia have a slightly worse record than those two. And hence we have the order that Uruguay is fifth, Brazil is sixth, Sweden seventh, and Russia eighth. And that's how it will be. Um, not much to see in the tournament. We have first semi-final between France and Belgium. Again, Belgium very, very tightly favored. Uh, England is now more heavily favored since they got the they actually got the uh, win, whereas Croatia only drew, which did not improve their rating. Actually worsened a little bit. So we have now England 56 to 44 percent, roughly, between those two, and then we have a Belgium. England final, which is now a little bit closer. It's basically a 60-40 matchup if this was to come. And we have um, the third plus matchup. Again, uh, France is more favored here, 65 to 35 roughly. Let's look at the performance indices. Uh, there have been some changes. Now Croatia takes top spot. Um, making the semifinals, this is a big, is a huge achievement, and we have also a final rating for Sweden. Unfortunately, my joke final is not alive anymore, but I think it was all right because, as I said, I think Sweden looked tired yesterday. They didn't have much more in them, and um, yeah, their tournament was probably made for four games. The most I had the feeling uh, there were not. They had always they had tough games all along. They had not really had a rest like the other three teams that are still in the semifinals. Uh, we also have England rising to third place. Well, Belgium and France uh, sit still at six and seven. Russia is at 0.759. Um, I actually don't know, but I could imagine if England finishes fourth that uh, it will get very close between Russia and England here. Um, since all these changes were already in the top eight here, so there's not much else to say about the ratings down here they are all final so let me know what you think about the performance in this and so on so at the moment it looks like that croatia had given their pre-tournament expectations they are expected to have the strongest tournament therefore they would be the so-called relative world champions um yeah let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you have any other uh, thoughts who performed strongest and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.